Google Analytics Four collects information from your website and applications and create reports based on that data. These reports can help you track traffic and learn about your users and their actions. Once the configuration is done, the data from your website and apps will appear in the real-time report and then in other reports shortly thereafter. And now let's move to the report section. You can access these reports by clicking on the reports tab in the left menu. In these standard reports, you can view older data as well as they are not affected by the data retention settings, which can be set to two or 14 months that we discussed earlier in our admin panel overview. In the report snapshot section on the top left, you will find the option to view data for all users. This means that all of these standard reports include data for all users as the audience source. And then there's an option to add comparison, which allows you to compare this data to other audiences. Let's say we add a new comparison here, where session source medium contains Google CPC. And then we can see the comparison between all users and the users coming through Google ads. This will apply to all of these standard reports, which allows us to see the difference in all the metrics in these two groups. All right, let me remove this now and let's move further. On the top right of the page, you'll find the data selector, which allows you to switch between different date ranges. And just beneath that, there's an edit comparison option that allows you to modify any of the comparisons that you made, such as changing the condition or the source. If you want to share this report or any customized reports that you've created, you can use the share this report feature to share a link or download the report. Then we have this insight feature that uses analytics intelligence to provide useful information such as what countries do my users coming from and trends of monthly users last year, etc. You can choose from these provided options or type your own questions into the search bar at the top. And then we have these bunch of charts here. So first we have user, new user, average engagement time and total revenue. We can see the difference here. And as I said before, we can add a comparison and see the difference for both the audience groups. Then we have users in the last 30 minutes just to see the snapshot of like how the user users are performing and where the users are coming from. And then we have these insights section on the right, which is the same as what we discussed in the last video, home section, the automated insights as well as the custom insights that analytics intelligence provides to us depending upon our actions and interest in the account. Then we have these couple of more charts where we can see the where the users are coming from, what are the top performing campaigns by social medium. And we can also change this with this drop down. If you're interested in tracking campaigns instead of source medium, we can do that from here as well. And on the side, we have users by country. And again, we can look for new users versus returning customers. And then we have some more important charts here, which is like the user activity by cohort, landing page performance here as well. This is basically a snapshot, as it says here, of these standard reports, lifecycle and the user collections. So it's just picking up some important important reports snapshots here. And then we have some top events as well, followed by top conversion events, like whether it is view item or user engagement. And we can also see the detailed performance, or if you want to be interested in looking for all the performance, of the conversions, you can just click on this view conversion section and it will just take you to the detailed card page. And also we have this filter here as well. So if you want to be interested in looking at like what's really happening here, so it says include conversion event equal to true. And then we have e-commerce purchase by item name. So what specific product is selling the most and we can see the performance of each item here as well, followed by conversions by platform, like is it web or mobile device or tablet, which is performing well for us. So this is just an overview and the report snapshot of how the things are working and let's move to the real-time report now. All right, so in the real-time report, you can see here the information about the number of users over the last 30 minutes, the total number of users per minute and users by device. And here on this graph, you can zoom in and zoom out to see the exact location of the user. You can also click on this blue circle to see the detailed performance of that location. And it will automatically apply the comparison at the top. And we can compare this side to side with all users for all of these dimensions and metrics. Like here, all users versus this specific region. And if we go back underneath this graph, we have this user performance by sources, mediums, or campaigns. And then the user by audience, like non-purchasers, engaged users, etc. You can also switch this to new users to see the performance differences. Then we have the landing page that users engage with and the top performing page at the top. In this case, it is home page. It might be different for you. On the right, you can see the events that uses trigger like page view or session start, etc. And what's the total event count against these dimensions. And then the conversions that uses complete like view card or view item. And then you can also see the users by user property. To get a snapshot of a random users activity stream, simply click the button at the top and you can track every event triggered by on your website by that random user, the location of the user, the app version and the device details as well. 
If you click any of these event, let's say here, then you can also view the event parameters like session ID, page location to understand more about your users. And also we have this user properties on the right side as well. Once you're done with the analysis, you can click on exit snapshot and reach back to the real time report. So that was it on the real time side. And now let's move to the reports collection where you'll be spending the majority of your time. We can see two collections here, lifecycle and user. The lifecycle collection mainly shows the different stages of the customer journey from acquiring new customers to retaining existing ones. Here you will find insights into how people use website or application rather than information about individual users, which you will be seeing in this user collection. This collection contains all of these default reports but you can anytime add any custom report to this navigation for easy access as well. So if you have acquisition, engagement, monetization, and retention, let's go through them all one by one. 